Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, you have Google Assistant on your Galaxy Buds 3 Pros. That means that you can speak to Gemini directly from the earbuds. That means even if this phone is in your pocket or in your purse, or maybe it is away from you, you went outside, you have it sitting on a table, or you're inside and you left it somewhere, you walked to the other room, as long as you're still connected with your Galaxy Buds 3 Pros, you can still speak to your Google Assistant. Now, this will work only if you have Android 16 with Samsung One UI 8, meaning if you have the Flip 7 or the Fold 7, or if you're part of the beta program currently for the Galaxy S25 series. Now, luckily, starting next week on August 11th, the Samsung One UI 8 beta is launching across several devices, which I already shot the video of which devices and which countries is getting the Samsung One UI 8 beta and when, and also the official launch of Samsung One UI 8 which is during the month of September. So how you're able to get your Google Assistant set up on your Galaxy Buds 3 Pros is if again you have Samsung One UI 8 with Android 16, all you have to do is head right inside of your settings and if it's already connected, you can see your Galaxy Buds sitting right there. Now, you're not going to go in your Galaxy wearable application anymore. So what they did was rather than you going into an application to make any type of a change with your buds, it's going to be directly through your settings. First off, it's going to be right through the settings that I showed you from before, which is right there. Or what you can do is when you go into your settings here, if you go inside of Bluetooth, and then you take a look at your details. This is where you go to your settings of the Galaxy Buds 3 Pros. You can see that this looks exactly like what it did in the Galaxy wearable application. Everything is sitting here in terms of any type of customization. Okay, so what we got going on is the Galaxy Z Fold 7 right here. I am actually playing some music. I'm hitting record and I've got the Galaxy Bud 3 Pros that's in my ears. And what you're able to do is give it prompts. So you have your Google Assistant with you uh, not only now on your phone or watch, but now with the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. So I can say something like, can you stop my music right now? Uh, do I have anything on my calendar today? Can you turn my device volume up to 100% for media and start playing music again with YouTube Music? All right, so that is loud, 100%, have to take it out of the ears. So you can see that you can control the phone with just regular Google Assistant with your voice via the Galaxy Bud 3 Pros. Now, you just have to make sure that you have yourself uh, Android 16 with Samsung One UI 8. So if you are a part of the beta program uh, for the Galaxy S25 series, or maybe you're soon to get it with some of the other Samsung Galaxy devices that I shared with you that will soon be joining the beta program starting next week on August 11th, or if you have the Galaxy Z Fold 7 or Flip 7, you already have this feature that you're able to turn on with the Galaxy Buds 3 Pros. Now, another thing I wanna do is this thing was already unlocked to begin with. Now, because you are connected to the Galaxy Buds and you've already unlocked your phone, so like right now I am connected, let's just say that we lock this thing up and then maybe I wanted to unlock it. So place it right there again. Uh, and then now let's say it goes to the lock screen. So you're 100% connected to your phone with your buds you've 100% made sure that you unlock that thing so you can still use it even if it's locked like that, as long as you have unlocked it at least once while paired. So I can say, uh, tell me a joke. Why do scientists not trust atoms? Because they make up everything. That's what it said in my ear. So again, I don't have to ask questions to a watch, to a phone, as long as I'm connected with the buds, I have Gemini just right here. You can also say something like, set a timer for five minutes.
so you're unable to show the timers. But let's see if it was set. That's what it said. It said that it couldn't show the timers. Okay. Let's see. Looking at the phone. There's the timer and it's going. Now, once you are inside of this screen here, which I can show you one more time, with this one, we'll just go directly through settings because we're already paired with the Buds. You tap right there for the Buds 3 Pros. You're gonna scroll down and you'll see the option right there for voice controls. Now, once you tap on voice controls, this is where you go to the very top and you go to Google Assistant. Now, once inside of here, you'll have a couple different settings. The first one is you're able to turn on the feature where it only requires one unlock. So this setting here, what this means is that it only requires one unlock, meaning once you have your buds connected and you have unlocked your phone just once. So while it's connected, you then unlocked your phone, then that means that you don't have to unlock it again. So you can use your phone if the screen is off, which means it's locked, or if the screen is just on and you walked away. So that means unlock your connected device while wearing your buds or, here, or headphones, then talk to your digital assistant without unlocking again. It resets if you remove your earbuds or your headphones. So with both of these here, you have this option to turn it on or off. Now this one right here, this is where it's important to make sure that you have the HG voice match that is connected with these here. So because you're in this screen of looking at your Galaxy Buds 3 Pros, this is the settings of the Galaxy Bud 3 Pros. Just make sure that this thing is turned on. If you want to retrain it, you can. The only thing is that sometimes when you retrain it, your phone and the buds are listening to your HG voice command. So you'll probably just have to tap on the screen because it's actually hearing that command through both sections. So HG just means uh, uh, this word right here. I don't wanna say the prompt because it might prompt your phone from my voice. So now that you have all of this right there and you have gone through, you turn it all on. And then here's some of the commands you can use, which is music. So like, you know, play music, stop music, next song, previous song, volume up, volume down, answer call, reject call. So there's a few of these that I also did, like timer and a few additional stuff. You can see me walking away from my phone and I'm able to still record it with this camera here. So I walked away from my phone and I gave all the prompts through the buds themselves. I had my watch off. So pretty much I had the watch off. I had my phone in here. So everything I was doing was through the buds themselves. So that is everything that I wanted to show in today's video. I wanted to show you how you're able to get it all connected, get it all set up. Also, if you haven't used Samsung One UI 8 before, you'll be able to notice that when it comes down to your Galaxy Buds, it's just, it's just gonna be sitting right here. Or when you go inside of your connections for your Bluetooth, this is where you're gonna see everything there where you go inside of the settings. Again, you don't have to go into a separate application, just go through the settings of your phone, which I think just makes it a little bit easier. But this is where you go into the voice controls and you add all of that in. You can even change it to Bixby if you want to, but Gemini and the Google Assistant is a little bit better and it still does everything, even changing the settings of your phone. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.